Hey folks, Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player from www.fredsmusicandbbq.com. That's Fred's Music Shop in beautiful downtown Shillington, Pennsylvania. That's right. And guess what? It's a beautiful day today. You can hear the birds chirping, the dogs barking, and I'm going to do some grilling. Now, I got my charcoal grill right here, and first thing I got to do, of course, is I got to light her up. So, you know, that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, normally, I might use these little gadgets, these little lighter cubes, and you take your lighter and you put it in your charcoal and you light it up, and then after a while, she gets hot. Or, I might want to use these here. See? That there's an electrical gadget. You put this down into coals, and you plug it in, and after a while, she gets going pretty good. Now, it takes a little while, but works pretty good. But no, 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 no. Not today. Today, I'm going to use this baby, the loof lighter. Here we go! Okay, so we're gonna light our grill with our Luftlighter. Luftlighter, that's right. It, that's what it says right there, Luftlighter. So before we get down to business, let's just take a few precautionary measures. Let's read the warnings right there on the handle. Do not expose to rain or moisture. Store indoors. To provide continuous protection against risk of electric shock, connect to property grounded outlet only. That means don't hold on to this when you jump in the pool. Do not use the Luftlighter near to gases, petroleum, paint spraying, or other explosive surface. So if you're handling explosives like C4 or, you know, anything like that, or maybe an open bucket of gasoline, don't put this thing near it when it's turned on. Do not immerse in water. Once again, I guess I better not throw it in the swimming pool. And read the manual before use. Wait a minute. I don't know if I can do that one. Well, okay, we'll read the instructions. Here's the instructions. How to light a barbecue with the loof lighter. Always make a pile of coal or briquettes. There you go. There's my pile. Touch the pile of coal with the loof lighter. Draw back the loof lighter a little bit when sparks appear after 10 to 20 seconds. And continue to point the loof lighter in the same direction for at least 60 seconds. Do you want that perfect glow in a couple of minutes? Well, I think I do. Just continue using the loof lighter towards one or more points in the pile. Okay, I think I can handle that. Here we go. Fasten your seat belts. Get your crash helmet on. Okay, gentlemen, start your loof lighter. Make a pile, touch the pile with the loof lighter. I guess they want me to turn it on. And after it sparks, 10 to 20 seconds, draw it back a little bit and hold it for 60 seconds. I don't see no sparks yet, do you? I'm touching the pile. Anybody got a stopwatch on there? Is it 20 seconds yet? Somebody count the seconds. I don't see nothing happening yet. I got the button on. I'm not going to advance the video, so just we're just going to count it down together. Come on, baby. Come on, Luffy. Give me some sparks. Uh-oh. I'm starting to see some sparks. See them sparks? Now it says draw it back a little bit. Uh-oh, whoa. The charcoal down there, can you see it? It's glowing down there. Whoa. You kidding me? Okay, do you want the perfect, oh, and then leave it here for at least 60 seconds. Wow. This some bitch is really working pretty good. It kind of smells like burning leaves. Pull it back a little bit. I did, but it's still sparking. It's gonna light my instructions on fire. Is it 60 seconds yet? I'll tell you what, I got one glowing mass of lump charcoal. Amazing. Well, there it is, folks. I don't know how good you can see that. I'm gonna try zooming this camera in. Check it out. Are you kidding me? 
Okay, I think I better turn it off before I set the whole place on fire. There she goes. Amazing. A smoking gun. A loof lighter. That some bitch worked pretty good. Alrighty. There you go. Here's your test. I think I'm gonna take it over and maybe maybe take a swim in the pool right now and see how that works. I got it right back there in the saddle. Okay, folks. So there you have it. The Luftlider from the Luftlider company. I, I gotta tell you, when I got this gadget from them, I mean, I get sent some pretty weird things. When I saw this thing, I thought, what the hell are they gonna think of next? I mean, I thought it was some kind of, like, laser sword, like from Star Wars or something, like, you know. But man, I gotta tell you, this baby really works good. I'm really quite a bit. I mean, don't smell funny, don't look funny, but it sure is one weird looking gadget, huh? Anyway, what a great way to start your charcoal grill. No more messing around with that there squirty stuff. No using them little cubes, you know, you just, all you gotta do, the only, all you gotta do is take this thing and you saw it, start it up. Now the only drawback I can see is this here. You gotta have juice. You don't got electricity? Well, I don't think it's gonna work, but you can always use it as a weapon. But man, you could scare off anybody with this thing. So any question? Yeah, where do you get it? Huh? Where do you get it? Well, you get it from Fred's Music and Barbecue Supply in Shillington, Pennsylvania. Or you can go to www.fredsmusicandbbq.com and you can just order one of these babies up and we'll send it right over to you. So until next time, it's Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player. Don't forget to visit our website and don't forget about our brand new forum for all the ceramic grill people out there. All, all, the, all the eggheads and all the people that like all them different kind of ceramic grills. It's www.ceramicgrillforum.com. Okay? We'll see you sometime. Take care.